I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of my B&M shop with me and haul video. If you've not yet caught the come shop with me portion of this video, I shall link that up in the cards and you can just catch that after you've watched this video. Let me know in the comments, by the way, have you seen the come shop with me part of this video yet? Or have you not seen it yet? Anyway, before we dive into this haul, I just want to say if you're new, welcome. It is lovely to have you here. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to turn on bell notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do loads of shop with me and haul type videos as well as vlogs, speed cleans, organization, all that kind of good stuff. I hope you will love it all. Now, before we jump into the haul, I do just want to mention these bags. These were not from B&M, but these are what I take to B&M. Oh, this one's really heavy. Even the guy at the checkout in B&M went, whoa, they are cool. Basically, they roll up into a little easy to put in the boot and take with you kind of thing. And then you go around the supermarket or B&M or wherever you're going, fill up your trolley. And then when you put your stuff onto the conveyor belt of the trolley, you can expand the bags across the trolley and fill all the things into the bags. This is especially helpful in places where they don't have the conveyor belt at the other end. You're expected to pack things directly into the trolley and then perhaps go over to another shelf or something to pack them away because you can just chuck them straight into these bags so they fill the trolley. So I love these. I think these are the best shopping kind of solution whenever there's a trolley. I will link these below. Now let's get on to some of the stuff. That one's not too heavy. That I bought in B and oh these are really heavy um let's start with food and then we'll do homeware and kids stuff now the first thing i picked up don't judge me on this okay this is going in a don't judge me of the b&m section in fact pretty much all the food is from don't judge me this is unicorn cereal this is called unicorn fruit loops so zara's like that's healthy mummy darling it's fruit flavored fruit has never been anywhere near the cereal i can guarantee it guarantee it so I don't know. I think this is going to have to be like a weekend treat cereal. Surely they can't live on this. It has got a unicorn on the back that they can colour in. I'm sure my girls will love it. The boys will probably love it too. Does it have any nutritional value? It says it has no artificial colours or flavours. I guess it must be true then. They can't put it on the box otherwise, can they? But I'm going to put this as like a treat cereal rather than a, an everyday cereal. Because surely cereal shouldn't be this colourful. What do we think? What do we think? I'm sure it won't do any harm, but only every day. Then we have got two boxes of the Skinny Whip that are a bit squashed. One of the mint and one of the strawberry. I have tried all the different flavours of Skinny Whip. In my opinion, these are the best. Now, they say guilt-free because they're reasonably low calorie. It's not why I eat them. I eat them because I love them. And they're probably not guilt-free when you chain eat a whole box. Hands up if you've done that. That has happened on more than one occasion, I will be honest with you. Then these I have not tried before. I have tried the other Bliss flavours and to be honest, they were they were alright, they were nice enough, but they were not as nice as the Squinny Whip bars. So these I have high hopes for because I like a bit of raspberry and dark chocolate, but I don't know. Are these going to be as good? Let me know in the comments what you think. By the way, there is something that I've realised I meant to buy in B&M in the sweets and chocolate, don't judge me section, that I did not buy in B&M. Let me know in the comments if you can spy what it was. Then biscuit wise, we've got some jammy dodgers. I've got a unicorn on them because life is better with unicorns. And then we've got some Maryland chocolate chunk cookies. I never seem to buy real food when I go to these B&M type places. It always seems to be house stuff and chocolate and junk food. Are you the same or do you ever actually buy real food? I tend to buy real food when I have it delivered from the supermarket and then my B&M or Poundland or Home Bargains are all kind of treat things. Are you the same? Then we've got a whole load of chocolate that I've never seen before. Now obviously we're familiar with Cadbury's but then we've got a whole lot of really random stuff that I've had to try so you don't have to. I mean, you might want to as well. And let me know if you have tried any of these and if they're nice. So we've got a dairy milk top deck. I think that means it's a different, it's a white chocolate on the top and milk chocolate underneath. So I'm sure that'll be quite nice. Rocky Road, I'm sure will be absolutely delish. I do love Rocky Road. Let me know if you do too. Now this one, originally I read as Perky Nana, but then I saw a monkey on it. And I think it means Perky Nana, as in banana, as in banana flavored. Oh, look, there's a description on it. Dairy milk with chewy banana flavored marshmallow. 
that sounds beyond disgusting. I'm sure my children will like it and I have bought it for the purpose of market research but if that's nice, I'll be very surprised. That sounds revolting. Then we've got a bag of strawberry flavoured Freddos. These are what my husband would refer to as messed with food, as in a Freddo's perfectly good, why would you make it strawberry flavour? I personally sometimes like things, other than I'm still not convinced about the banana one, I sometimes will think, oh, that actually really works. And I'm keen to try these things, but I guarantee my husband's reaction will be, oh, messed with, oh, why did they do? So we've got some little smaller bars. This one is a Dairy Milk Hedgehog. Have you tried any of these guys? I literally haven't seen them before. This is Dairy Milk Chocolate with toasted coconut, almond and biscuit pieces. That sounds quite nice. And then this one is Dairy Milk Neapolitan, which is apparently milk chocolate, dream white chocolate and strawberry flavoured chocolate. So that's probably quite nice too. I would imagine that's quite sickly. I'm not normally a fan of the like too much of the whiter chocolate because it's normally a bit bleh, but you know, in small doses. And then these, are like chocolate discs. I'm assuming these will be like those chocolate discs that you get in Ikea. Is that what these are like? Has anyone tried any of this stuff? Weigh in in the comments and let us know as a community which of these are gonna be great. And then moving away from Cadbury's, we've got a Milky Bar Whirl, which is Milky Bar chocolate, which on its own is a bit sickly, with a bit of the milk chocolate, so maybe that'll be not so sickly. I don't know, what do we think? Then I've got these to try because I quite like reaching for snacks that are high in protein. One is called Salted Caramel and the other is Cookies and Dream. Now I tend to find if I snack on like all this chocolatey stuff, really I try my best to only eat chocolatey stuff after dinner, after my evening meal, because if I eat chocolatey stuff that ha isn't high in protein earlier in the day, I get a sugar crash, I get the shakes and I end up binge eating. That's when I end up eating a whole box of Skinny Whip in one go. When I've eaten chocolate or something earlier in the day and I get a sugar crash and then I'm like, ugh, and I have to eat because I feel really, like, really jittery and then I just want sugar. So I'm thinking maybe these proteiny ones would be good for earlier in the day when I kind of still want something sweet. Last of the food and then we're on to homeware. Zara, my little darling, chose these because they were fizzy ones and she said Bella liked fizzy ones because I said that she could choose some sweets, obviously I will share the chocolate with the children as well, but um, the these little individually portioned bags are quite good treat size bags for the children. On to like a home cleaning laundry kind of section. Now I got this multi-purpose caddy, which I really like the look of. And um, this is shown in the picture kind of in the bathroom. Now this would look nice on a dressing table. It might look good on Bella's dressing table. She could put little pens and things in it. If the others like them, I could go back and get them for them. But it it would be quite pretty for she's kind of, kind of getting into like having lip balms and things things like that or just pens she really really likes pens so it'd be quite pretty to just fill with pretty colored pens so that was quite nice i do like this clear acrylic -y stuff they did have so much lovely kind of uh, storage baskets acrylic -y storage stuff like this i mean we don't need a great deal of it because obviously we've recently done up the house and have recently organized it all but i really did like that then i've got some dishwasher tablets I still don't know if it's worth paying extra for fancy dishwasher tablets. These seem cheap and cheerful. I'm sure they'll do the trick. Then we've got some herbal essences, shampoo and conditioner, purely because my hairdresser recommended them. She said they were really good. Um, if you're watching, was this the one you meant? I wasn't quite sure. I couldn't remember which one she said to get. I knew she said herbal essences. And I know these always smell really good. So it's just, yeah, that does smell really, really nice. So like a clarifying shampoo to get rid of all the gunk. I think my hair, by the time I come to wash it, I'm really lazy. I only wash it every third day and I fill it full of dry shampoo. The rest of the time, I used to be an every 48 hour on the nose kind of girl. And I think it made my hair worse because if I then washed it, in like two and a half days, not two days, it was disgusting. Whereas now I kind of manage with the dry shampoo and things, but there's a lot more gunk to wash out, gunk in the form of dry shampoo, when I do eventually get to wash it. Then I have got my crease releaser that if you've been watching my speed cleaning videos for the last over a year, I use this all the time. It's really, really good. Um, I have worked with Lenore before, gotta just close that too, but obviously this is not an advert, it's just something I've used and I've used this for a long time before I worked with them. 
This one I haven't tried before. Now I have tried the, let me get this right, I've tried the pods and I've tried the sprinkly things. I can never remember what they're called, what are they called? Scent boosters. I've tried the scent boosters and they're really good, but I've not had the Summer Breeze crease releaser, but I do like when you use the same scent across the scent boosters and the pods and the crease releaser or the dryer sheets or the fabric softener, whatever you're going to use. When you use the same thing across all of the products, it really oofs up the smell and like this is my office and the other side of that calyx unit is my laundry room and I've used the same one over and over. I can really smell the lovely clean fresh laundry even when like the machines aren't on in my office. It makes my office smell amazing. In fact I can even smell it when I come down the stairs because it just smells really just clean and lovely and it wafts through the house in a good way. And then a few of you have been talking to me in the comments and suggesting I try a bit of Fabulosa. So I don't know what these smell like. I don't suppose you're supposed to sniff these, are you? This one's called Electrify, like without like, well, that smells nice. I'm trying not to like inhale it because that's not really healthy, is it? Oh, that smells really nice actually. It smells like, I can't even tell you what it smells like. Sort of florally, I guess. So that is, um, the equivalent of like a Zoflora, I guess, that I'd normally use. And then this one is called Rainbow Drops. Quite frankly, I like the sound of Rainbow Drops and I like the colour of the pink and the purple, so that's why I chose these. Oh, that smells a bit like sweets. Obviously, don't drink it. But that does smell like, almost like Haribo. Anyway, I'll report back and let you know how I go with these. The kind of thing I do, I use like a cap full of Zoflora, Zoflora blah, 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 I can't speak. <laughs> I use things like a cap full of Zoflora to pop down the toilet or in my toilet brush holder, that kind of thing. So I'll use this for the same sort of thing. I have got a blog post where I list 40 ways you can use a Zoflora, but you could use Fabulosa in exactly the same way as I talk about using Zoflora in that blog post. And then I know I bought a lot of stuff, but the reason I went to B&M was to buy the Fabulosa toilet cleaning gel. It's because I talked about in. Where did I talk about it? I talked about it in a, maybe a grocery haul where I'd bought the Domestos pink and said that actually it's a pink bottle but it doesn't come out pink. And someone said, one of you clever people said, but the Fabulosa one does come out pink. So I bought the only two that they had in stock. They were kind of low on scents and things in B&M when I went. So I bought this Fabulosa Fresh Breeze. Don't know what it smells like and I bought the Electrify, which I'm assuming is the same scent as the one I just, I don't want to say sniffed, saying <laughs> sniffing disinfectant's not a good thing, is it? I don't want to say inhaled, the one I just sampled. Hopefully these will do a good job of just putting a little bit down the toilet, you know, in between cleans to kind of keep away the dirt, and that just makes it easy to clean when you come to clean it. So have you tried these Fabulosa toilet gel, are they any good? On to this big one now. If you want to save money, I mean, don't go to B&M in the first place because you're going for one thing and you'll come out with all this stuff. But secondly, don't take a four year old with you because she will insist on buying something for herself, as in you have to buy it, and then you'll have to buy something for all the siblings to make it fair. And then you will know that your teenager won't want anything. So you'll have to bung him some money just to make up for the fact that you've bought something for siblings, which is what I tend to end up doing <laughs> when I've, you see me buy things for little ones and I, there isn't anything for my teenager and just like telling the others have had something, he had some money. Zara, first of all, really wanted this. Now these are not Disney dolls. So this one's kind of inspired by Belle in the yellow dress, Belle in her village dress and a white dress, which I guess is a wedding dress. So Zara just wanted these because she loves dressing up dollies, like loves, loves, loves dressing up dollies more than anything else in the whole world. Um, so she initially wanted that one, then she decided Bella could have that one because she would want this Aurora one, where, which is a wedding dress again. Aurora in her make it pink, make it blue dress. And then Aurora when she's out in the woods being Briar Rose. And those were two for 16 pounds. So did she need a present? Did they all need presents? Probably not. But she's only got another three or four weeks at the time of filming this left in half day nursery. And if you saw that first video, you'll know that I said, where do you want to go with mummy for some mummy time? And she said she wanted to go to B&M. So melted my heart a little bit. And it is breaking me that she's starting full-time school in September. And obviously I'll still have them all off on the weekends and the evenings and school holidays and stuff. But this is my very last time of just mummy and Zara. My very last baby will be going into full-time school. And that is making me a bit, oh, so maybe that is why I gave in to the presents, if I'm honest. So for Will, he has been on for a while about wanting Twister, the game that ties you up in knots. That's literally what he called it. <laughs> Bless him. He is 
literally like a marketing sponge. So I don't know where he's seen that in some sort of YouTube ad or something. Now, I actually really wanted to get this for them anyway. Um, so I bought it because Will asked for it, but it's obviously something we can all do together. I kind of thought it would be a fun thing to do in the garden. Um, it's something I will get involved in doing with the children, a really fun, like quick and entertaining game for everyone to get involved with. So have you got Twister? Do you enjoy it as a family? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. There are videos that you may enjoy in the on screen all around my head. Choose one, click on it, and I'll see you over there. Bye.